Hi Gemini, welcome to your singles reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Gemini, this is intended for singles, looking for new love, whether you're looking for your next date, your next relationship, your next lover, whatever it is for you. It could be your future ex, whatever we get here, we're just going to take it. Um, if you do have a connection with somebody, even though you may be single, that's okay. You can watch this too, or you can check out my channel. I do have love connection readings where I look at a connection between you and another, whether you're together or not. So you can find the links below in the description box for your love and general readings, and you'll find those under the love playlist. So feel free to watch them also and check those out. Go back, watch past readings. I do consider them timeless, so feel free to do that also. All right, so this is intem um, intended for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. It's a general collective reading, not a private reading. However, if you would like a private reading, all that information is down below in the description box. Tons of stuff down there, how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons and tons of stuff. So, Gemini, I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So, I'm going to do here, Gemini, especially if you're new, I'm going to get three oracles, one from each deck. Sort of get an overall energy of this person who may be coming into you. We'll get their energy, the energy they're sitting in, maybe what they've been through, what they're going through, or however their energy is right now. Then we'll get their soul and spirit energy, their passion maybe even what they do as a career or um, what they enjoy in life. And then we'll get a romance angel, how they feel about love, their love energy. We'll clarify that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at how you will feel about one another. If there'll be any blocks, challenges, advice, guidance, and possible outcome. And if I see how you know, or where you may meet this person, if that comes up, I'll say, or time frame, I'll also... Um, Include that, and I'll include any, include any signs that I see, but they literally could be any sign. So, all right. So, Gemini, I hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy. So, let's get this person's energy for Gemini single spirit, please. Thank you so much. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective, incoming person to Gemini. What is this person's energy? What is this person's energy for Gemini, please? Thank you so much person's energy for the Gemini singles. All right, feeling that one. All right, I'm going to pull these first. Let's get their spirit and soul energy. This is the life purpose deck, so we'll see what their soul and spirit's purpose is in this world. Get an overall energy of this person. If you're a new Gemini, you can check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. Um, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. If you do, thank you. Welcome to the family. Um, I do four different readings a month. They're all different. There's something for everybody, so feel free to check that out. All right. And if you hit the bell, thank you so much. And welcome, welcome, welcome. And sometimes you get five if you get the bonus reading. All right. So, Gemini, what is this person's soul and spirit energy for the Gemini single spirit, please? Thank you so much. What is this person's spirit and soul energy? Come on. I'm not feeling it yet. Not feeling it yet. Usually I could tell if it sticks in my hand or if it flies. All right, I'm going to take this one. Sometimes they come out quick. Sometimes it takes a little bit. So love energy. What is this person's love energy for Gemini singles? Someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective. Let's get this person's love energy. The Gemini single spirit, please. All right, that one. All right, let's see what we have before we get into the tarot. We have communication, self-expression, exchange, sharing, and connection. We have 34 here, which is 7. 7 is a very divinely um, spiritual number. But we have blue here, and again, blue is all about the throat chakra. So that is about honesty, communication, uh, thoughts, ideas, and that kind of uh, energy. So I feel like this person is a very big communicator. A very big communicator. Uh, they express themselves. They could be a writer. They could be a journalist. Um, or they may have a leadership role where they have to communicate it could be like a team leader, a project leader, um, a leader of an organization or something like that. 
So this person is not shy, that is for sure. All right, so let's see. We have here nutrition. You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. So they could actually be a culinary um, like professor or teacher or something like that. Um, or they just love to cook. They could be a chef as, you know, on the side at home. Could be just a passion project, you know, that they love to cook, um, you know, and love to be a chef. So they could be a chef or they could do that also as a side project. Or they could be somebody who's very much into health, healthful eating, healthy habits. They could be a nutritionist um, or something like that also. All right, so I think uh, health food plays a big part. I think they're very healthy, very healthy. Health is a big uh, thing for them. And we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So this person could be right now in a situation where they're just separated. Maybe they have just separated from a long-term uh, relationship. They could be married. They could be legally separated right now. Um, this person almost may have a bad habit sometimes of saying things maybe they shouldn't. Maybe they don't think too much before they speak, especially with that communication there. It's kind of like this person just, uh, just whatever comes out of their mouth comes out. And they may have a tendency to like put their foot in their mouth, which, you know, in love sometimes cannot be a good thing. And maybe they've put their foot in their mouth like one too many times in relationships, which caused separations <laughs> with their person. So we're going to see here with the tarot what this is about. Alright. Let's see what this is about. For you, Gemini, singles. So we could get anything here. I mean, if this turns out, some of the readings have turned out really, really good. There's been a couple with it not been so good. So I know people say you go all through that to say that it's not going to work out. Well, it could be a forewarning, you know, if you come into a situation or you're finding yourself in this situation. It could be just a forewarning insight that maybe you need, you know. So take it as it means for you. It may not, if you feel like it's not resonating for you, then again, please don't take it then if it's not resonating. Um, but it is incoming love, so it may not even resonate because you wouldn't know, would you? So, all right. So, let's get more information about this person. The Gemini Singles. Two of Pentacles. And the Emperor in Reverse. Hmm. All right, let's get all their energy out before I read it here. So now we have Aries. Yeah, I'm feeling like this person, uh, instead of juggling around their thoughts a little bit before they blurt out what they're going to say, because the emperor is usually someone who's very much in control of everything, but the emperor in reverse is someone who's out of control. So I feel like this person is, like, they don't really think things thoroughly or weigh things out before they say them. They just don't have any control about, seems like they can't control their tongue. So I'm not getting like a vicious or bad energy. It's like they just don't have a filter, you know, and they don't mean it. They don't mean to be that way. It's just, bleh, just comes out like verbal, you know, garbage. Yeah. So that's something they need to contend with, with the devil energy here, Capricorn. They need to, how, need to learn how to master that and balance that energy out instead of just, you know, letting it all fly out. So I, that's what I feel with the devil energy there. Is that uh, they need to master that <laughs> part of them that they haven't really done it yet. All right, so I think they just express themselves, and whatever comes out comes out. And I don't think they mean to hurt people or say things in a bad way. It's just the way they say things instead of okay, thinking two pentacles. Okay, I could have said this in a better way, or maybe I should say it this way, or maybe I shouldn't say anything. They really need to master that kind of like negative aspect of themselves that they don't really have control over. That's what I'm getting with the devil energy. All right, so let's get three more for this person. The Ace of Cups. So they're ready for new love. They're ready for new love. They have a lot of love to give. It's just their verbal diarrhea they need to control. 
Star, so they've done healing. Aquarius energy here. I'm guided to this one. Justice. Okay, so they could have been through a divorce or something. Or they're legally separated, like I said. Justice system. Libra energy, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries. We have so far. So, as far as this here with the communication, yeah, they need to master their verbal diarrhea <laughs> and uh, conquer that part of them. But I feel like separation here, if they've just come out of a legal, they could be in a legal separation right now. But, you know, the star here is about healing, faith, hope, optimism, which is dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. They know there's a, a higher love, a better love for them here. In the coming in the future, they're, they're still hopeful and optimistic. I feel like they do have a lighthearted energy about them, a very optimistic energy about them. It's just the way they, again, say things without thinking. But um, they could be in a legal separation right now. So when you meet them, they may not be totally clear of that yet. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, this you can meet them after they've been through this and maybe they're divorced. But there's something here in the justice system. So Spirit really wanted me to pick that card. Why? Because we have separation separation through the justice system. But they know there's a higher love out there for them. It's like this star, she's reaching down in the water and then coming up with this Ace of Cups. So they're searching for that deeper love that they know is out there. All right. So, I mean, they may have peace, harmony, balance, you know, with their past situation. So with that... Oh, that went flying. So with the nutrition, what I'm getting also is that is about nurturing, caring, giving, growth, expansion also. So I feel like, um, again, you know, with their past there, they are nurturing and healing it so that everyone can move on peacefully. That's also what I'm getting, kind also with that star there, you know, and the dove coming in for peace. So let me just get these cards out of the fly. All right, so... Now that we have their energy, and the Ace of Cups can be about self-love also. So I feel like, um, you know, with the devil right on nutrition, it could have been maybe they overcame obstacles. You know, they could have been obese when they were young uh, or something like that, very, very, very unhealthy. And maybe now, you know, they're on a big health kick and they're, you know, a nutritional expert now, you know. Maybe not for a living, but maybe, you know, just as a side passion or project, they've really educated themselves so that they could be fit, you know. Because, again, with the emperor, is not in control. So I feel like uh, this person in the past, I don't think, was in control of their health or their nutrition. But also, um, they still have the communication problem, you know. So hopefully they can uh, tame that <laughs> energy a little bit. All right, so Gemini, let's see how you would feel about this person for Gemini. How would Gemini feel about this person? Okay, Four of Pentacles. So I feel like you're going to be taken aback a little bit about their energy. They may be, you may think they're kind of obnoxious or uh, something like that because there's just like so open and free and they just, you know, blurt everything out. I think maybe this person has a tendency to try to be funny when they're not, you know, that kind of energy where, okay, that's not really funny. And they just keep going on and on. And I think you may be just like, who is this crazy person? <laughs> All right. So what else here? Temperance. So we got Sagittarius energy here. So this, you know, this temperance angel usually brings in a soulmate. And it's also about patience, healing, divine timing, balance. All right, what else here? In the Knight of Swords. So rushing. I think this person, again, you know, the Knight of Swords is kind of like rushing. That could be um, Aquarius energy. I think they're just going to come, like, you're just going to, like, run, bump into them or run into them somewhere. Um, could be, like, at the bank or something like that. Or out doing chores for the day or something like that. And you may run, run into them and you're like, who is this crazy person? Oh, my gosh. You may see them, you know, before. You may kind of see them before you actually kind of run into them. That makes sense. Like, you see them, but then you accidentally bump into them or something like that. 
And I think they could be high strung a little bit. And you're going to be like, oh my God, who is this? But we do have a patient energy here. And again, healing in faith, hope, optimism, and soulmate energy. And balance. So, I don't know. I think you're going to be unsure. You're going to be unsure about this person. You're going to be unsure. So let's see how they would feel about you. How they would feel about you. You know, they may, you know, you may bump into them and then may, they may strike up a conversation with you, like, rather quickly. And I think you're going to be, like, just kind of, like, trying to get away from them or kind of back off a little bit here. But I don't think they're going to give up. All right. So we got the Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. This is love, communication. You know, I think they're going to um, have a little bit of puppy eyes towards you. But there is a fish in the cup. So, again, that may be the, them just expressing themselves, like, in a weird way or something like that. Or kind of like, you may think they're a little childish or immature. But we do have the Queen of Pentacles energy here. King or Queen. So this could be uh, Capricorn energy. So they are very stable. Whatever they do, they're very, their life is very stable. They make their money, you know, the secure kind of energy. In that sense. So whatever they do. Again, they could be um, like a team leader of some kind. They could even be a um, like a coach of some kind. Um, they could be an inspirational speaker, or they could be a teacher, or they could be, you know, um, culinary professor or teacher or something like that. All right, so let's get one more for you, Gemini. Wow, we got the King of Pentacles. They're going to see you, and they're looking right at, right at each other. Oh, my gosh. So this is Virgo energy here. They're going to look right at you and say, oh, wow, you're my soulmate. <laughs> it's, wow, they're going to be um, attracted to you right away. You, not so sure. You may think they're a little obnoxious and mature, childish, the way they act, the way they speak, you know, the way they, like, fumble their words or you know, try to be funny when they're not, and all that kind of energy, but I don't, I think they have good intentions, but again, it's just, they need to tame that energy a little bit, harness it in a little bit, because with the devil there, they just, like, it's all over the place. Wow, but they're very stable here. So let's see, so I'm getting um, heavy fall energy here, summer into fall, maybe even winter. Again, you can meet them, like, out doing chores for the day or at the bank or something like that. Um, it may happen to just, you know, you may see them and then they may, may, like, bump into you or they may see you and just come, like, right over to you and start up a conversation. And you're more, like, backing away, like, um, <laughs> kind of, like, trying to, I feel like almost, like, get away from them. Like, who is this crazy person? But I think they're going to just keep talking and talking to you. All right, so let's see here. You know, they may ask you out on a date for a drink or something like that. I do see two drinks over here. So you may, you know, end up talking to this person, you know, and you know, maybe end up going on a date for a drink or something, a cup of coffee, see where it goes. All right, so let's see uh, blocks, challenges, and this connection. So we have the Seven of Swords. All right, what else? Six of Swords. It's kind of backwards, but in the Nine of Cups. So what I'm feeling here, um, let's get a few more. I'm kind of getting the message, but let's get a few more. Lots Hermit, yeah, Virgo Energy. A few more here. Wow. The Fool. Aquarius, and, whoops, Page of Swords. So what I feel like here is, <clears throat> even though you may go on a date with them, or date them a few times, I think they may just, like, kind of, you're like, I, I feel like <laughs> you're just going to say, okay, I'll go on a date, just to, like, 
I don't know, shut them up or something like that. And then Seven of Swords, you may try to get out of it. You may try to get out of it. You know, you may exchange information and then you may try to get out of it. Like, uh, I don't want, no, I don't want to go on this date. You know, you may try to retreat here and talk yourself out of it or try to get out of it in some way, shape, or form. But I think they're going to spy on you. They're going to check you out online. I don't mean in a creepy way. But um, again, open honest communication with the Page of Swords. So even though you may try to get out of this in some way and try to retreat from this person or something like that, um, I think they're still going to contact you, talk to you. Because we do have a leap of faith here, a fresh start, wish dream come true, happiness and joy with the Nine of Cups. So I think once you get to know this person, you're going to find out they're not so bad because we do have things going in a better direction with the Six of Swords. But until you can get past their like energy and get to really know them, because we've got two people here really getting to know each other face to face, you know, and then... The hermit, you know, seeing the light and, you know, doing that journey work and stuff. You, I think you're going to feel, okay, maybe this person isn't so bad. But it may be a little bit of a block and a challenge for you to get past their energy a little bit. And see, like, the real them. But this could go in a better direction. Wish fulfillment. Having a fresh start here. So I think you, need, you may need to uh, be a block and a challenge here to really get to know them and get past that energy, that upfront energy you first seen that made you feel it. taken aback and really get to know this person. So let's see here. The fresh start is here. All right. So maybe again, Hermit trying to retreat from this, trying to get out of it, trying to, you know, Kind of energy, but let's see how this will work out. I mean, we do have divine counterparts here as a matching couple. So I'm feeling like as far as like morals and stability and work ethic and all that kind of energy, you're a match, but you're um, that kind of energy is a match. Like the earth energy within in the both of you will be a match, but as far as the communication energy and that kind of energy may be a little bit of a mismatch but if you can work that out you know six is about healing and balance all right so let's see here let's see here um future connection future connection of this seven of cups so still a little confused here about it four swords so still needing to think i just don't know so again, it may be, you know, a little bit of a mismatched energy, trying to, you know, temperance there, balance it out. Five of Cups, so sadness, hurt, and loss. Two of Rods, two of Wands, so at a crossroads. Wow, okay. King of Cups, though, so there is somebody who's going to have more love, I feel, than the other one. Love and emotions. This is Pisces energy. Let's get one more. Hangman. All right, so Pisces again. I feel like it's still going to be in limbo. You know, you may date this person or go out a few times. Uh, they may want to see you more. I feel like they're going to develop feelings for you fast. Or the roles can be vice versa here. But I think you're going to be a little confused. Again, you may keep putting this person, like, delay, 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 pushing you off, you know, when you're going to see them again. Like, keep pushing them away and um, delaying, you know, dates or whatever here. Then finally, you may just turn them away, being at the crossroads where, you know, I'm just too confused about this, not sure. And you may actually turn them away with the Five of Cups, you know, and they're, they're going to wait here with the Hanged Man. I feel like they're going to wait, you know, and I think they may feel um, very strongly about you. They may start to develop feelings fast. You, I'm not so sure. So you know, let's see. Let's get some on the bottom of the deck here. So, we've got a lot of energy there. So let's see, we have the Seven of Rods. So yeah, being defensive and on God. But then we have the Six of Rods, which is success and victory. Page of Rods, so passionate communication, good news. 
Ten of Swords, so it's a painful, hurtful ending. And then the High Priestess energy here, which is Pisces, which is about gut intuition, higher knowing. What I'm feeling here is this person, even though you're defensive, I think they're going to wait because we've got waiting here. I think they're going to wait to hear from you, waiting for good news to come in from you, even though they know you're a little defensive and on guard. But I think you're going to listen to your gut and your intuition and actually end it, just kind of end it with them. Because I think for you, it may be too much of an energetic uh, mismatch. You know, um, I mean, the earth aspects of you two may be, you know, a match, but everything else is kind of like all over the place, I feel. Um, and you feel like it's just too much of an energetic uh, mismatch. So unfortunately, I think you'll listen to your intuition and end it. And they'll be waiting. You know, they're going to be waiting here, even though you're defensive and waiting for the news to come in. Unfortunately, it's not going to be something they're going to want to hear. Because I think, you know, Taurus here, they're looking for deeper, level, deeper levels of commitment. They definitely will see you in this Empress energy, high value kind of energy. Definitely wanting the balance between you and manifest this brand new beginning. Uh, Gemini Virgo here, waiting for that communication for you, from you. But again, too much conflict here, too much conflict. So, yeah, it's kind of what I see. But, I mean, if you could get over the conflict and really get to know this person and give it a chance, it could have a potential to be something a little stable here. But it may be too much work, uh, unfortunately, because we do have the King of Rods and putting in the work here. But we do have a soulmate energy here with the Two of Cups. So this definitely could be a soulmate. But I feel like this person is just going to kind of stress you out with their energy, even though there could be a strong soulmate energy here. But feeling like it's just a lot of work, you know, it could be a lot of passion. Also, the King of Rods is Leo. A lot of fire, passion, drive. But too much work, even though it's a soulmate, a lot of stress. And somebody here is going to end up with an achy, breaky heart. Kind of energy, I feel, in the long run. Oh, boy, Gemini. Well, I wish it was a better reading for you, but uh, that's kind of what I see. So again, with that separation there, again, could be, you know, trying to separate your energy from them, like always keeping them at an arm's distance, no matter how much they try to get close, um, wanting to get to know you better, take you out more. I feel like you kind of keep well, pushing them away, pushing them. It's too bad because I think if they could express themselves better and not be so much in that energy of like kind of almost like annoying, obnoxious, but not really meaning to or being like mean, it's just like their energy. If they could tame that, I think, you know, they'd have a better chance, unfortunately. Wow. Okay, Gemini, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say on my channels, to always, always shine your light.